שלום לכולם, ושנה טובה. Now, why am I saying שנה mm-hmm. טובה? Actually, שנה טובה means Happy New Year. Uh, why am I saying Happy New Year in uh, September? Mm-hmm. It's because it's a Jewish calendar. And it's next week that we're going to celebrate the New Year. And I, I told Norm, I said, you know, we all want to have something new in our belt of truth. You know, something that we can start off with um, because we live in this chaotic world and it's getting more chaotic. It's just mm-hmm. getting just, I call it bulagon, you know. I, I'm saying it right. Yes, okay. balagan. Yeah, balagan, balagan, okay. <laughs> so, and I told Noam, I think we need to share this about loving our enemies because there, as the scripture says, that even people that we know will turn you in to mm-hmm. authorities. Yeah. Well, it's like, well, and we know that it's happening in other countries in the world. We, we know that. But yet, it's coming home uh, to the West. And how do we love our enemies? And Noam taught me this right after he became born again. Because when we talked about this scripture, mm-hmm. I looked at him, I said, that's a hard one. He says, what do you mean it's a hard one? And I said, well, Noam, it's a, it's a hard one to do. And he goes, no, it isn't. Of course, I'm looking at this Jewish guy going, <laughs> what do you mean, no, it isn't? So we want to walk you through, I think, this most important, Important time where people will turn on you, people will make accusations against you, which are so ridiculously not true. But how do we use it to better ourselves to walk in the spirit and not get caught up with all these distractions? Right. So, in order to com- completely understand mm-hmm. this subject, I need to really go to the root. And I always say, mm-hmm. to go to the root, you go to the Jewish uh, word mm-hmm. and understand deeper. So, to love. <clears throat> In Hebrew, Ahav, Aleph, Hey, Bet. That's the root of the word love. So, what do we see in this word? We see in the middle, the Hey. Mm-hmm. Hey represent God. Remember, I've thought, thought about it before. Mm-hmm. Avram changed to Abraham. That letter He represents God. So when you take that out, what you have left is Av, which means Father. So you see, actually, that it is actually means love means the fatherly God, yeah. our Father in heaven. Yeah. And that's just John four, I think, verse six, J- John chapter four, verse six, I think, mm-hmm. that it says God mm-hmm. is love. Mm-hmm. You see that just when you understand the word in Hebrew, love, yeah. the verb to love. So that is the root of it. And that's where our aim should be, that our love will be like the fatherly love. So in order to yeah. understand that, let's see what stops us from having this fatherly love. And one of the things, of course, is the old self. Mm-hmm. So that's the root, because think about it, the enemies. Why don't you love your enemy? Mm -hmm. Because of your feelings. Mm -hmm. Because of what he did to you or what he may do to you. It's fears, it's worries, it's feelings. Or or if they come after your uh, reputation and there's no way that you can defend yourself and you feel sometimes helpless. And that's when you literally have to be in the spirit and go, Lord, you know, you are my defender you will defend me. Um, So so what Noam taught, like he said, is phenomenal. And so when you taught that to me, Noam, because the enemy, when he comes at you, whether it's through people or whatever, Mm -hmm. it it literally, if you use it for the purpose of taking advantage of it, it pushes you further into your walk with your spirit. It really makes you realize that the scripture talks about, I think it's 2 Corinthians um, Mm -hmm. uh, 12. And I really want to read this because I think it's phenomenal. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I would rather boast in my infirmities than the power of the Messiah may rest upon me that the power of the Messiah may rest me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and needs and persecution and distresses for Messiah's sake. For when I am weak, 
then I am strong. Mm -hmm. And what Paul was trying to really say, which I really grasped a hold of when Noam taught me this, what, 16 years ago, um, it was, now I understand that in this weakness, because the enemy in Revelations, uh, I think it's, uh, let me get this right, 1210, mm -hmm. uh, the accuser of the brethren, what does he try to do with through accusations is to wear you down. And is to push you in the quarters so that you won't speak truth anymore. Mm -hmm. That you will just hide away and say, I can't do it. I'm exhausted. But if you realize in that moment when you feel weak, that's when you say, Lord, I get it. You're my strength. Come into this situation because I can't walk this out anymore. I need your strength to have victory. So instead of... of of getting angry at the at the enemy, whoever it may be or whatever it could be, right. you just say, "Oh my gosh, Lord, I get it. What was meant to harm me, Lord? You're turning around, and I'm starting to rely on you and not my own strength, not my own strength, and not my own defense." Right, but that is possible mm -hmm. only when we deny ourselves. Yeah, and that's the bottom line. Remember yeah. again. Yeshua said, you want to follow me or you're following your old self? Yeah. If you follow me, that you need to deny yourself. You don't focus on your feelings, on your worries, yeah. on your angers and so on. Mm -hmm. You follow on Yeshua and yeah. that gives you the strength. Wow. And that gives you also detachment. Mm -hmm. Remember, we need to be in the world and not off the yeah. world. Loving your enemy is an example of what it means to deny yourself. Yeah. And it's a way for you to test yourself whether you're in the world or Amen. of the world. Amen. And whether you're in the spirit yes. or you're in your flesh. Yes. And that's a hard one. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. That's a hard one. But as we walk this out, like for instance, I had to go to a meeting, all the, how do I say this, all the uh what do I say? All the government offices. Mm. And and it was like so hard for me. And, and it was just ridiculous. Um, and Noam said to me, whispered, he said, Beloved, take a deep breath. Well, I actually wanted to flip the tables over, you know. But I realized when I walked out, now I flunked the test, even though I got what I wanted, okay. But I realized I flunked the test. Because if I would have said, okay, Lord, I get it. You're teaching me not to react. You're teaching me to say, Lord, you know, my life is in your hands. You, you, you are in control of everything because you order the footsteps of where I'm walking. Lord, I thank you that I can sit here in perfect peace, absolutely perfect peace. And this is a concrete example of what it means in Psalm 46, 11. Yeah. Let go and know that I'm God. We talked yeah. about that scripture before. This is a Hebrew translation. It's not be still, it's let go. And actually this let go is not completely, it's to loosen your grip. Yeah. So meaning that like we go to yes. this office, yes. we are in reality, but we are not tight in our feelings yeah. and desires. Mm -hmm. Whatever the outcome, we are okay. fine. fine. And that's what Whatever. it means to loosen your grip. So and wonderful. only then, you allow God to work things out yeah. and you know God. Yeah. You see His actions oh in your gosh. life. Because another scripture, I think it's in Second Corinthians 2.11, is outwitting the enemy scheme. The whole thing of the enemy schemes is to shut you up. It's absolutely put myself in my house. I'm going to shut the door. I, I'm, I'm not talking anymore. I'm not saying anything. That's what the victory of the enemy wants to and, do in your life. And to wear you out. Yeah, yeah. See, because when yeah. you're exhausted, yeah. it's like, it comes from yourself. I'm I'm too tired. I, yeah. I can't do it another time. So, yeah. Yes, but that's when that's, his strength, when you, when you rely on his strength and not your strength. Right. Mm -hmm. But in order to do that again, yes, we have to deny ourselves. Yes. Not pay attention to our tiredness, to our feelings, Mm -hmm. but do what it's needed to do yeah. and for that we need discipline so we need to rejoice in every situation that you feel like somebody's coming at you or the world's coming at you or lord i i don't get it this is when we stop it's like see the pause we stop and go okay lord you know everything that pertains to my life what are you teaching me on and where 
can I be victorious in this to literally release that smile yeah. um, on my face and say, I'm sitting in totally the peace of the Lord. Whatever happens, happens because yeah, He, like, exactly. I give in my yeah. life to the Lord and I can walk through this. I can walk through this. Right, and it's a concrete example yeah. that you need to show whether mm -hmm. you really believe the Lord is in control. Yeah. If you really believe in in control, then okay, whatever the result, it's fine. Because yeah. the Lord can always turn things around yeah. that it will be beneficial to yeah. you. But the good news is, I got what I wanted. Okay, mm -hmm. let's, just, let's just put that on the table. The good news is, but as I grabbed Noam's hand when I walked out, I said, I learned so much, Noam, when Noam was squeezing my hand and said, just believe, just breathe, beloved. That's his key to me, okay? Just breathe. Just be, I delight when I can say that to Noam, which is probably once in one year, you know. I can say, breathe, you know. So, and also, it's sovereignty, is patience. Yes. It's just patience, trusting. And that's our walk with the Lord, that we trust Him yes. in our walk. And everything that is allowed to come our way means that we can hurdle above it and come victorious on the other side. Right, and this is what deep understanding of the situation mm -hmm. and of life that is necessary. One of the things that I've learned, actually it was in the Tennessee, that the Lord is using yeah. the physical world, its circumstances and relationships mm -hmm. in order to modify and solidify our walk of faith. Mm -hmm. Now, if you remember this and really put it in, so you understand that this enemy, whoever it is, came mm -hmm. to your past at this time mm -hmm. as a challenge for you. And the Lord knows. And and it's actually, I always look at the, at the gym. Yeah. In the gym, you're fighting resistance, that's the weights. You get tired mm -hmm. from exercise, mm -hmm. but you develop your muscles. Mm -hmm. You see, so the same thing, enemy wears you out, mm -hmm. but actually you develop the muscles of your spirit. It's your so spiritual good. walk. So don't focus on the tiredness, but focus on the fact that you are building yeah. your spiritual strength. And can you imagine if the church at large really walked in this? You know, because we just need to outwit. And again, I'm going to say outwitting the enemy is going, whoa, wait just a minute. I'm in perfect peace because everything that pertains makes me stronger mm -hmm. makes my walk in the spirit even stronger so that i could keep up in the spirit you know since we live by the spirit let's keep up with him right. i really believe the lord is it's like we're in boot camp yes we're, we're just being trained over and over when we, yeah. when we see holy spirit come and train us so we wanted to share this with you to put some of these things into your belt of truth. Yes. So next time you face a hardship or next time you face something that's totally unfair, unfair, let's depend on Him. And have a deeper perspective and understanding. Yeah. Because again, if you don't go to the gym, your muscle will not be that strong. Yeah, so good, but Mom. when you go to the gym, your muscles will be stronger, yeah. right? Yeah. Same thing, the enemy actually helps you yeah. to be stronger later on spiritually. Yeah. Provided you act as a believer, as a warrior for the Lord. Yeah. Of course, if you behave as a victim, then it will wear you out. Yeah. But if you behave as a warrior for the Lord, yeah. then you understand, wow, this is a challenge. Yeah. And you take it as a challenge and not as a curse or yeah. something bad yeah. that happens Not being to you. offended, 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 yes. offended. Yes. Or you have to can... understand and look at the situation. Yeah. But this is what's so wonderful to go to the Lord and go, Lord, I know what you say and we know what he says. And we know that he's, that he has called you and he loves you. But that's what the Holy Spirit does. He teaches us. Yes. And you see, the enemy helps you to get to a point yeah. that you wouldn't be able to yeah. get there yes. by yourself. Yes. It's almost like the Lord's using the enemy to push you further even more. To push you further even right. into the right exactly. direction exactly. of where exactly. you're supposed to go. Because we are lazy beings. Yeah. It's only when we are under pressure that yeah. we are pushed. Okay, I need to do my yeah. best. Yeah. But we tend to just have an easy going life. Yeah. So the enemy comes and says, no, you need to be pushed. Uh -huh. And that's how we need to see it. And you get more determined to say, yes. I want to be listening to pierce my ears, Holy Spirit.
because I want to be the best soldier of walking forward with total confidence in him, in him. So it's exciting time as, yes. as we enter into this new year. I'm excited about it. And we really wanted to share something that mm -hmm. Noam and I have walked in for years. Yeah. Really, we have walked in. Do I stumble sometimes? Yeah. Absolutely. But I always have Noam to look at me and say, whoa, this is good, honey. We can, we can love our enemies. We can love our enemies, no matter who they are in this world. We can love our enemies and know, Lord, you're, you're, you're going to teach us how to go over the hurdle. Right. And focus on the fact how the enemy helps you yeah. to move forward. Yeah. To strengthen, to solidify your walk yeah, of faith. That's so good. And no, that's I'm... something that we cannot do just by ourselves. Yeah. It's, it's amazing, but this is fact. Yeah. So if we focus on that, then we can love our enemies. Yeah, and it's the Father's love. Yes. And we're allowing the Father's love to love through us. And you end up blessing. You end up blessing no matter how bad, yes. Yes. no matter how bad it is, no matter what words. You just, you just, I love you. And right. I just bless you. I just bless you. And you see further in Matthew chapter 5, verse 46, that the purpose for all this is that we will be complete. Yeah. We will be complete in our love to people. Not because, oh, he, this is an enemy, I can't love yeah. him. Then we will be incomplete. Yeah. So the purpose is to be complete in him. And this, with this we end and we are praying for all those who follow us that they will, like yeah. us, try to pers yeah. pursue, to be complete with him, with love to our enemies, and of course, to our friends. Remember, we're walking just like you guys are. Yes. We're learning every day. We're yes. just learning every day, committing our lives and saying, yes. Lord, here we are, here we are. Yeah. So we bless you yes. in this coming new year. Uh, no, we and I will be, we'll be teaching more yes. in the feast, but it's an exciting time. No yes. matter what the world is doing against us who stand in his name, it's an exciting time to let His light shine through us. Blessing from Israel.